All right, ladies, welcome back to another installment of Julian's Random Projects. I wanted to bring you back and let you in on some of the developments that have been happening in the uh, i3 coding community. There were a number of us folks online that were trying to get a hold of a European steering wheel and some of the CAN messages to enable what they call, what BMW is calling Traffic Jam Assist, uh, which is really just a less feature-rich autopilot, if you will. Uh, it was enabled for the European market, but then disabled for the American market, probably because we're super litigious and we like to tinker with things versus the rule followers in the European Union. So that brings us to today. So my interest in debugging this thing to see if it was possible to enable, uh, since I ha it has all the same hardware up top, it's got, it's got the same camera. My best guess was that it was just a software thing. So I, I went in and enabled all the pieces that had something to do with Traffic Jam Assist or TJA in this case. And when I did, I got a bunch of error messages and things like that. And so uh, I figured there's something else missing. And sure enough, there was a different steering wheel because this metal rim around here or something else built into it had a capacitive touch sensor in the European model. And the American model does not have that. So I knew I needed to either get that steering wheel or fake the funk and do a man in the middle kind of thing and just constantly transmit over CAN to say, yeah, he's totally touching the thing. Yes, he's totally touching the steering wheel. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. And make a little, uh, you know, module that would transmit that, you know, like a, a an Arduino with a CAN module or uh, like a, I think teen seeds can be modified to sort of bit bang and, and, and do the damn thing. If what I'm about to show you guys. If you don't consider yourself geeky or this isn't like a killer app that you just you definitely have to try and I, and I would ratchet it up start slow and then work your way up uh, don't you know don't go whole hog and try and do uh, lane keeping in this thing at 90 miles an hour you will lose in court so <laughs> be reasonable uh, I got back into this because I learned that this company Quidzel made that exact module so here's how you get it installed all you have to do is remove this volume and button assembly here. There's a single screw in the back with like a hex head and a side here. <laughs> Could I have went and found my own microcontroller and gotten the code because it's probably you know readily available. Hell, the guy might even have published it in, uh, on a forum somewhere and done this myself for sure. But then I'm in here like soldering things and I'm uh, you know I'm cutting cable, I'm cutting wires and things. This guy has gone through the trouble of finding the exact connectors, wiring it all up. He probably has some sort of QA going on uh, either in his in his garage at home or in China where they're fabbing the, the PCB, who knows, but he's done all that work. So it's totally worth the price of admission. Uh, your time is valuable. So someone that's done all this before, throw them a couple bucks, get this little module, drops right in. It, it's, it's so tiny. Can, as you can see here, it fits inside of the void behind the buttons and you just snap it back up and you're ready to go. Next step, coding with ESIS. Links in the description tutorials, lots of stuff about this. Uh, don't do this. This is not for the faint of heart. This is for you know, for people that, you know, like to integrate stuff. Start with, you know, change, adding the AM radio and changing the, uh, the, the amount of fuel you have available to you in the range extended model. Mess around with those settings first, get comfortable with it before you go whole hog. Or if you just want this feature, it's, it's, it's the, uh, again, it's a killer app for you. Take it down to a shop and, and in your area and you'll be able to get this thing both installed and probably coded, uh, you know, for like hundred bucks, something like that. So without further ado, let's, uh, let's take it for a ride. Figures that the uh, the day I go out to try and test traffic jam assist, I can't find a lot of traffic to get jammed in. Let's see if we can follow some of these cars and pretend like we're stuck. Now, of course, I'm calling this the poor man's autopilot, but that's because it's pretty close. It's probably about 80% of what autopilot actually does. Uh, I think a lot of consumers are under the impression that autopilot is some sort of autonomous driving. It is not. It's just a driver aid. It, it keeps you from bumping into the car in front of you and you, you set the speed that you're willing to go and it'll go up to that speed or slower if there's someone in front of you. Uh, it also keeps you in your lane. And that's about it. Autopilot's not taking you to grandma's house. It's not, you know, 
sure it parts itself, but so does this car. Um, the reason I'm calling it poor man's autopilot, this system is intended to be used up to 45, you know, 35, 45 miles an hour and no faster, probably because they did some studying with the, the, the amount of torque that could be applied to the, the steering column and on tight turns, it didn't do so hot. Uh, you know, and, and there also might've been some apprehension to, to put something out in the market and try and say that it could do more, or, or that it was likely to solve many solutions. Uh, it's not, it's just, it's for being on a straight road, you're, you're going for between zero and 30 miles an hour and you're just bored out of your mind. You're going to be doing this for miles. That's what this system's for. But for a lot of us, especially in the, the Bay Area here, commuting on 101, that's what a lot of it is. So let's get this engaged and uh, we'll see how it does. This is Earth Radio. And now here's human music. Hmm. Human music. I like it. Well, there you go, ladies. In conclusion, the poor man's autopilot. Is it up to snuff? No, it's the poor man. It's about 40, 50% there. It's, it's not amazing, but it's doing the job. For that slow commute, for the, the multi-mile stretch of road where you're doing between zero and 40 miles an hour, uh, you know, stop and go, stop and go, this is it. This is the thing to get. If you own a BMW i3 and it's already got the adaptive cruise control, should you add traffic jam assist in the US? Yes, no brainer, totally worth what this dongle costs. So check the links in the description. If you found this video at all helpful, let me know. If you hope to see more things like this from Julian's Random Projects, make sure you subscribe. Thanks.